and welcome everyone to the week ahead commodity reports where we of course will be reviewing the markets for the week ahead uh, so far this year the global energy crisis it is setting up to be one of the biggest opportunities of the year if not the decade this super cycle shows no signs of slowing down in fact a long list of wall street banks from goldman sachs to jp morgan they now predict we could be on the verge of moving from the super cycle phase into the early stages of a multi-year if not decade-long mega cycle there are plenty of reasons why commodities are on the move right now this includes rapidly surging global inflation tightening supply logistical bottlenecks and booming demand across many highly essential commodities another major driver is the ev and green energy revolution this has plunged the world into an energy crisis the likes of which we have not seen since the 1970s the ongoing crisis has driven natural gas prices up by more than than 350 percent natural gas is one of the easiest replacements for coal as countries across the world aggressively race to reduce co2 emissions and deliver on net zero emission goals by 2030 unlike oil which powers transportation natural gas provides electricity it, it literally keeps the lights on and it provides heat for almost 63 percent of homes and businesses across the world natural gas also powers around 40 percent of the world's electric grid every ev sold today that isn't 100 percent powered by renewables will increase demand for natural gas roughly 19 percent of cars that are sold in china as of september were evs in the united states last month ev cars sales they hit 24 percent whilst in europe ev car sales increased by 29 percent global electric car sales they are forecast to hit 50 percent by 2025 65 percent by 2030 and close to 70 percent by 2040 alongside natural gas a cocktail of metals also play a very important role in the global ev and green energy revolution which includes lithium cobalt nickel copper aluminium silicon steel platinum palladium uranium and rare earth metals over the past year each and every one of these metals has skyrocketed to record-breaking highs and now natural gas and oil prices have joined them in total 27 commodities ranging from the metals to energies to soft commodities they have tallied up double to triple digit gains within the past year and this is just the beginning According to Goldman Sachs latest research, this is just the first inning of a multi-year commodity super cycle that has the potential to become a decade-long mega cycle, which ultimately means there's a fortune to be made. As we enter an era of change, the importance of having an income generating skill like trading has become a must have. If you want to hit your long term financial goals, you can't just stockpile cash in a savings account. Instead, you need to make your money work hard for you because rapidly surging inflation that will erode your wealth and purchasing power. Banks hedge funds they are making multi-billions capitalizing on the super cycle and it's not so different for the retail market the majority of our clients at the gold and silver club utilizing our proprietary research driven trading approach they have already made in excess of six and seven figures so far this year and we still have another three months left to go if you have been kicking yourself for missing out on some of the biggest opportunities so far this year you still have time to make 2021 your best year yet so with that let's move over to the charts and we'll talk you through exactly what we're looking at here as we head into a new week so first of all copper prices have now surged this month 15 percent in the last week they're up just under 11 percent as many of you know we've continued to build into copper over the last few weeks here in fact last week we were able to bank now four of our copper trades out of the five trades that we had running in total from copper to palladium to gold to platinum in the last week we're currently up over nine thousand points on those positions so of course for every one lot contract that you'll be trading that's ninety thousand dollars of profit for every 10 lot contract that you'll be trading that's just under a million at nine hundred thousand dollars of profit now of course this has been an immense move in the last week but extraordinary times they do provide you with extraordinary opportunities and to see copper prices up 
just under 11% in a week has been an immense move, but it's played out to expectations. Everything that we've been expecting for this market has now played out. This has also, of course, been the same for crude oil prices, which are broken out to seven year highs. Natural gas prices over October also breaking out to seven year highs as well. So they're moving back to copper here. As many of you know, we've talked to you through this in a lot of detail. This is where we have been building positions on this market. In fact, our lowest entry recently was at 4.075. So you can see just at the lower end of the channel at the beginning of the month, we took advantage of the normal end of quarter profit taking that you get at the end of September in order to build into a number of positions. I'm just outlining at the moment the trades that we actually snipered into right at the lower end of the channel as we started to build out our position. So three of our entries there were at 4.075, 4.1, 4.12 then we built a further position at 4.2 and also finally 4.245 as well so these are our five positions and this is where we have had the immense move over the last week here and we've been able to bank those trades so in terms of going into a new week here markets i would definitely have on the radar Firstly, of course, natural gas is one to keep an eye on here. So typically from the middle of October onwards, natural gas is very common for this market to have a pullback and then perform very well into November. So I am looking really at any dips on this market for opportunities to again capitalize on this breakout and parabolic move that we've seen lately for energy prices. So again, natural gas on Friday pulled back almost 4%. In fact, for the week, it's pulled back 4.75%. This is to be expected, though, after a breakout to seven-year highs here for natural gas. You do want some profit taking. We initially banked 650 points profit on the breakout to seven-year highs, and now we're looking for an opportunity on this pullback to essentially reload. So really, the lower this market gets over the next couple of weeks, the better to take advantage of a cycle to the upside as we then move into the month of November. So that's really what we're looking to capitalize on palladium at the start of last week it gapped higher off the sunday open by 400 points so we immediately took the opportunity to take some additional profit off the table here from the lows to the highs over the last couple of weeks palladium has actually rallied over 3,800 points this was a trade opportunity we highlighted to you back at the beginning of october we'd be consolidating for a number of weeks here on palladium if you look at the weekly chart here you will see we we're just coiling getting ready for a breakout and slingshot move higher and we've absolutely seen that now over the last couple of weeks but again the same as natural gas if we were to see further pullbacks and if we were to see a breakdown back towards the swing lows here i would be looking at opportunities to add further exposure to this market it might be that we just pause here and we continue this momentum higher which would be typical at this time of year but any pullbacks i would really be looking to essentially add further exposure they're moving over to gold so gold as you know we got in at 1727 us dollars per ounce we still have that position on and we've banked into strength whilst we've continued to see these impulse moves to the upside last week we did see a pullback on Friday which has taken the price back down 1.5% on the day typically gold in the month of October does tend to be range bound then in November it corrects my expectation on this market going into next week given that hedge funds and money managers have not changed their overall position in the last week would be that we're going to see choppy range bound price action for gold which would be quite typical in the third week here of October to just see more range bound price action much like we've seen throughout most of October so far this was very similar as well going back to 2020 just have a look at the month of October we were up and down like a yo-yo we spiked at the end of the month and then we tanked over the month of November. I would expect something similar for October. We've already seen quite a lot of that play out. There was a great opportunity to buy in nice and low here, both at the end of the quarter and also when China were on their public one-week holiday for Golden Week. That also presented some nice opportunities to buy in low. Platinum has been a great mover for us again over the last couple of weeks here. As we talked to you through previously, we built into a position at 947 US dollars per ounce. That was the day before China actually came back from their one-week public holidays. That provided a great opportunity to get in nice and low currently this trade is up 1100 points in our favor if you have a look here on platinum on higher time frames you will see very clearly where we're now breaking out from a basing formation and the risk reward profile on this market is still very attractive but as i mentioned we have our position on nice and low here at 947 us dollars per ounce we're continuing to manage this trade so far this month platinum is up 10 percent and it's up 3.6 percent in the last week then of course crude oil has also now broken out towards seven-year highs 
We're now up 9.6% for the month of October, 3.5% in the last week. And this market is also on an absolute tear as we continue to go through the commodity super cycle. As you know, bull markets, they don't move up in a straight line. They zigzag and this really presents traders with back-to-back -back trading opportunities to capitalize on that volatility. One of the biggest obstacles that does hold many retail traders back from achieving their desired success. It's not having access to data and market intelligence to make confident decisions with accuracy in these lucrative markets. If you follow the wrong strategy or worse still, if you lack access to the right data at the right time, you end up wasting lots of time, money and effort and you have no results to show for all of your hard work. If you want to thrive and not just survive in these highly macro driven markets, you need to adapt and utilize a professional research driven approach. Trading like every other misguided retail trader using outdated technical analysis or gimmicky technical indicators, it will not work. We still have another three months left to go of this year. Time is the most valuable commodity that you have. Make sure that you don't waste it. And if you really want to maximize your money making potential and thrive, not just survive in these markets, you need to adapt your strategy to the current market conditions. You need to trade like the hedge funds, money managers, institutions, utilizing a professional research driven approach. This is where you're using statistics, data, market intelligence, learn and understand the daily, the weekly, the monthly, the quarterly cycles for each commodity. Alongside that, the intermarket correlations, the ratios in the market, sentiment, be aware of the key areas of liquidity, learn and understand the news items which will have the biggest impact for commodities, providing you with fast moves, which is what you want to capitalize on in these markets. And alongside that, of course, understand macroeconomics and of course, how the hedge funds, money managers, banks and institutions are positioned in the market that will help you massively to get an edge. So with that, if you would like to join our community of successful traders, learn the research driven approach to the market and join our professional mentorship program, there is an opportunity for you to do so. As a member, you get access to our exclusive live trading room webinars. You get access to our real-time trade ideas, access to institutional research and market intelligence, access to our private members academy website, and also support and one-to-one -one mentoring. For more information, just go to www jointhelivetradingroom.com. The link is also below this report in the description. So just click on the link, make an application, and we will of course get in touch with you ASAP. And do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you're always kept updated with all of the latest commodity reports.